lot makes a good bread. The fermentation, I would also say a really nice crust, and I would say a really beautiful, soft, and somewhat moist inside. What doesn't make a good bread is speed. Proof started in 2014, and for the majority of its time, it's been a, a cottage bakery. Uh, Amanda and I actually bought proof from another Mesa, uh, Mesa resident, Jared Allen. Well, we were on a trip to Poland uh, years ago and we discovered, or I should say rediscovered, really nice bread. We came back feeling like we needed to find similar bread here to, to eat. Uh, we stumbled upon proof after this trip to Poland and we were loyal customers. It was a Friday night. The first thing we wanted to do is go to the market the next day and buy our bread. So we showed up. Uh, the lady knew me because I shopped there every single week. So she handed me a loaf that she had set aside knowing that Amanda and I would come for it. And uh, she said, he's moving. And I was sort of immediately shocked by this. And I said, what do you mean he's moving? And she explained to me that the bakery was going to shut down within a few weeks and that Jared was moving out of state. Uh, so that was Saturday. By the following Wednesday, I was up at 3.30 in the morning and driving towards another Mesa garage near downtown. Uh, I showed up at four and I was learning how to make bread for the first time. We have two main market days, Wednesdays and Saturdays. On Wednesdays, you can find us in Gilbert in Agrotopia in the evenings. And on Saturdays, you can find us through, throughout the valley. You can find us in Mesa, you can find us in Gilbert, and two locations in Phoenix. Uh, we also deliver to a handful of restaurants uh, and as well as Sing Farms on Sundays, which is another market. We have a whole line of breads uh, and pastries. Everything from small snacks that you can get uh, while you're walking around the market, like our green olive sticks, if you like salty snacks, we use Queen Creek olive milk olives in those. Uh, we have other small items. We're very well known for our croissants. Uh, our pan chocolat, which is our sort of chocolate croissant. We use a local craft chocolate made in Chandler by another artisan, much like ourselves, working in a cottage uh, format. It's a beautiful item along with our almond croissant and our standard sourdough croissant. We make these seasonal danishes every week. Then going into our breads, we do a full line of sourdough breads. Uh, everything from standard uh, sourdough, which comes in a variety of sizes, small or large. Uh, we do English muffins, uh, they're sourdough English muffins. As you experience our breads more, uh, there's multigrain and fruit and nut and all kinds of other options. We're just now starting to dabble with sourdough rice, which would be on the heartiest end of the breads that we're making. I believe that we are sort of returning to a place that we know where our food comes from and we know who produces our food. And I think that we as, as humans deserve that. Uh, we deserve the community that, that uh, is spurred on because of that. Uh, so I get excited about uh, continually making better and better products so that on Saturday I can see my regulars and tell them about it. We have the same people coming back for our bread week after week after week. And, and fortunately, new people try our product and then they become our regulars later. And so the market time sort of fuels the time in here to continually refine and work on improving. We're able to sort of uh, grow in a way that's sustainable for the business and help build a business that will hopefully be around for decades to come.